Back when computers were big enough to fill rooms and accepted input from punch cards, the idea of connecting two of them together was a fantastical pipe dream. Then, in 1957, two computers would speak to each other for the first time. Moving forward, this method of networking computers would be expanded to a global scale with the use of DARPA's ARPANET. In 1968, a massive network comprised of three other networks focusing on science, commercial, and military interest would form the foundations of the Internet. The Internet is not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's, it's a series of tubes. No! That's wrong! Wrong, wrong, wrong! What tubes? The London Underground? The National Aquarium? A pipe organ? Those are a series of tubes! But the Internet? No! <clears throat> the Internet is actually a massive collection of computers that are connected to one another by underground wires and identified by a series of numbers known as IP addresses. While handy when it comes to identifying where specific computers are on the network, these numbers were not conducive to everyday web browsing. Just imagine a phone book, if you will, without any names in it. And please, don't ask us what a phone book is. You'll make us all feel old. In order to make searching the web easier for the public, the domain name system, or DNS, was born. Now, names can be mapped to specific IP addresses to deliver people to their content far more easily. In fact, DNS is one of the most important parts of the internet, and one of the main reasons the internet is as big as it is today. Just imagine hanging around the water cooler and saying, Hey chum, have you seen HTTP colon slash slash 208.94.147.125? Oh, of course I have, it's a no! Because our brains don't work that way! That's why it was important to assign names to these numbers. Uh, during my service in the United States uh, Congress, uh, I took the initiative in creating the internet. Uh... Wrong! What the hell are you even talking about? The foundation of the internet was only laid in 1968! Are you telling us you created the internet when you were 20? What have you done since then? Did you create MTV? Video games? Motocross? What else don't I know? Are you some sort of time-traveling vampire? No? Then shut your mouth! What do you have to say for yourself? There's a grain of truth to that, but it's so tiny that it's... I mean, it's not a half-truth, it doesn't quite rise to that level. Okay, um... Not really sure what you mean, but fine, whatever, look. All we're saying is that there's definitely a history to how the internet came to be, and a big part of that is DNS. Brought to you by DNS Made Easy, providing DNS for hundreds of thousands of domains.